So here's another interesting trick where I want to, let's say, view the output of some commander, but I want to clean the output a little bit. For example, if I type mount, it gives me information like this, which is, which is useful, but it's hard to read because it's all like, you know, it's mushed up, right? Lots of strings. So to clean this, I can do something like this, mount, and there's a command called colon. So what I'm doing over here is that I'm basically saying that go ahead and format the output as a table. And while well, I'm working in a fairly large font in a lower resolution, but if this was a lower resolution, let's see if I can, so on a larger screen, I show you this looks a lot nicer, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and increase the font size again so we can read the text. Now, what is an example of where this is useful? So for example, uh, you know, you can use a URL like this to download historical data about a stock, right? So uh, this comes from Yahoo Finance, all credit to them, uh, but uh, you can do this for any uh, you know, source. I'm just using that as an example. So for example, I can use curl to download this data. Now I want to say that if I hit enter, it writes it out like this, and that's it's all good, right? There are a bunch of commas here, makes it, I guess you could read it, right? Date, open, high rate, so it's good. But I want to be able to format this a little bit cleaner, so it's a little bit easier to read. So I'll do something like this, the same command. So how did I get the same command back? That's the upper arrow key, cursor key. But then I'm gonna say uh, column dash S or dash T dash S, and then I'll say the separator, S stands for separator, in this case will be a comma. And hit enter, and now you notice that those commas have been replaced by tabs, and you see up here that this just becomes a lot easier to read. So it's, it's very useful to clean out the output. See this date, open, high, now they're all aligned, and now I can read these cleanly. Of course you can pipe this and do all sorts of amazing things with it, but this is very nice if you're trying to read some complex output or logs, for example. That's, it's very nice to be able to read logs like this.